Hey cookie creators and lovers alike, I'm Gabby. With this chilly weather, even the animals need their scarves and hats. Today on The Cool Cookie Show, we're making snowy forest creatures. For our moose, we'll start with his antlers. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Echo tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number three Wilton tip. We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour. We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we add some more flooding. Before the whites of his eyes dry, we'll layer in the blue and black. Now let's add a little twinkle.
We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we finish his fleming. We'll let our mousse dry for 6 to 12 hours before we add his final detail. We'll complete his scarf with a braided knit. And we'll finish him up with some snow on his antlers. This moose is on the loose. Sorry, couldn't help myself. For our fox, we'll start by flooding all the cream elements on his body. For our soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Ateco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number two Wilton tip. We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour. We'll let the first round of orange dry for 20 minutes to an hour.
We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour before we flood his hat and boots. Give his eyes some sparkle. We'll let our fox dry for 6 to 12 hours before we add the final detail. For the fox's accessories, we're going with the knitted weave. We'll finish his mouth up with a fine tip food coloring marker, which I've listed in the details below. This little fox is all done. For our deer, we'll start by flooding her antlers. For my soft piping consistency icing, I'm using a number one Iteco tip. And for my 15 second consistency flooding icing, I'm using a number two Wilton tip. I'm not sure how, but I lost the footage of me flooding the deer's body. I outlined and flooded the body as per usual, then came in with cream flooding consistency icing and dropped in three dots before the brown base dried. We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour.
We'll let this dry for 20 minutes to an hour. We'll let everything dry for another 20 minutes to an hour before we finish up the flooding. We'll give her eyes some sparkle. We'll let our deer dry for 6 to 12 hours before we finish up the details. For her scarf, we'll do a wave knit. We'll top off her antlers with some snow. This deer is all done. So which wintry wool is your favorite? The braided knit? The cross weave? The wave? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, click subscribe as well as the bell icon to be notified every time I upload a new video. In the meantime, here are some other videos you may enjoy. Thanks so much for watching The Cool Cookie Show. Till next time, stay sweet.